Hello, happy Monday. Lorenda Carl here for Daily Vibe Check. Um, hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Uh, per the reading from the weekend, I hope you didn't go out and blow all your money. <laughs> and I hope there wasn't conflict either. Okay, so let's see what Spirit wants to know, wants us to know today. What kind of overall vibration? Uh, what do we need to be aware of? What do you, what do you want us to know? What do you want us to know? Okay. So two of wands comes up first. The two cards came out together, so I'm going to honor it. So the two of wands comes up reversed. And this feels like a delay of either a new a new journey like there's just a delay of something that that you've started to take steps on so we go ones are about coming up with a great idea two is going laying out the path for it okay what's next now what do i do and when it's reversed it says okay well either we need to go back to the to the beginning or hang on divine timing not quite ready but then the king of pentacles is the card that came out with it by the way this is a very cool card um so the king of pentacles is being the master of your money be the master of the things that you own your material material world typically but not always be the master of what means a lot to you what do you consider currency so you might hear my dogs playing um so this is saying there might be a delay but that's okay because you really need to take control of the finances first um and if it's a delay and like you haven't you haven't been hired for a job that maybe you've applied for like you're just waiting don't worry about don't get out ahead of yourself and, and try to say oh by the way i'll take less money if you hire me no stand your ground and know what your worth is um so let's see what the uh we'll do a celebrate card let's do a celebrate card what's the celebrate card for today this two of wands and king of pentacles what's the celebrate card so we can tie it all together bring it all together forgiveness okay forgiveness hmm. so putting in this into the bigger picture are you holding yourself back from success do you feel like I can't be successful because I don't deserve it. I, I don't, I don't deserve being the king of pentacles. I haven't done enough. I haven't put the work in or, or I, I've wronged too many people or, um, somehow where you, you carry guilt for something. Maybe you carry guilt. Forgiveness, forgive yourself. You know, don't be afraid of success. Don't be afraid to jump into the new job. Don't be afraid to, you know, take a chance on a new idea, laying out the path. When you forgive yourself for all those fears and the reasons that you do have fears, when you forgive yourself, you're able to be free of anything daunting. Don't be afraid to ask you know ask you know ask the universe to bring you things ask the ask source to bring you abundance and 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 know that you deserve it and that if you feel that you've done something wrong or if you don't you don't deserve it because you've done something wrong then it's time to forgive yourself i feel like that's exactly where this is going this isn't even about necessarily forgiving other people um it's 
and it could be maybe maybe you're applying for a job where um, uh, an old friend that is no longer a friend or they got a falling out you're applying for a job that they might be there maybe you have to forgive them in order to start this new job or get this new job either way forgiveness is is very important because it relieves us it, it takes this burden away from us and when we have a lot of burden we cannot go forward we cannot um move forward with our lives we cannot create that path for our success to move forward in our life and and ultimately the goal is to be the king of pentacles you know have everything that your heart desires and and be a master of your own domain so so that's a pretty deep monday thought um so um so i'd love to hear how this plays out for you or how it applies to you kind of curious myself i find myself watching these like on the day when i pre-record a bunch of them like i love to go back and watch them i hate hearing myself because nobody really likes to hear themselves or watch themselves but i'll just put myself in my <laughs> my earbuds and then and listen to see how it plays out or if it already played out a certain way so tell me your thoughts let me know what you think make sure to subscribe like my channel um, our channel it's not just me angie also does videos and dana has also committed to doing some videos so i can't wait to see her stuff coming out um we do have a sign session that uh you could sign up for um it is at the end of the month so be sure to jump on uh, sign.com it's s dash i dash g dash n dot com um and go to sign sessions if you go way down at the bottom you'll see click and it'll take you right to the page where you can register it's 30 dollars, and everyone that comes gets a reading it's um it is uh, limited seating we don't allow just a, a bunch of people in but everybody gets a reading from dana angie and myself so it's like paying 10 bucks per 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 reader that's insane that's unheard of i don't know if you know this but we charge like a hundred dollars an hour so per each of us so great deal to pay 30 bucks and get a reading um a lot of message work spiritual work um advice and and uh and you know messages from the other side too so that's it have a fantastic monday i hope i hope this finds you well and that you remain awesome okay thanks bye